Welcome back for another thrifting adventure. Today we are gonna go thrifting specifically for home decor. And I'd like to put everything together and kind of show you how I'm gonna use these pieces in my home to decorate. So this is gonna be tons of fun. Let's go back to the thrift store and then we'll do our haul. Let's go thrifting. So my home decor style is like mostly mid-century, so I like a lot of brass and wood, so I'm going to start looking there, um, but it's overall really eclectic, so I also kind of just like peep for like whatever stuff that I like, and I'm also looking for more things that are like a little bit Western Americana influenced. I don't want to like shift completely that way, but I really like that style and see how I can like incorporate it in with like a mid-century vibe, so that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for, but I'm open. <laughs> cheese board is super cute and I want a dollar fifty for it. It is craft and I have one that's like the authentic um, mid-century artist that was like in every kitchen and I can't remember what it is right now but um, when I get home I'll try to show you the one that I have. Wall candelabras. I don't know what this is called right now. I'm blanking on everything. <laughs> There's a ton of them. Here's a little mirror. I found these little seagulls. Look how cool. You know I gotta look for my green glassware. I'm not seeing any. How cute! <laughs> 50 cents. Ooh, that's cool. I do love the oval or round shaped frames though. I've been hoping to find some uh, cruel embroidery in the wild, some 70s, 60s cruel embroidery. I did find a couple that are different styled embroidery. You can see about five inches. And look at this cute little horse. There's a couple more embroideries I found. This one with the bird I think is so darling, but uh, the frame I think should be swapped out. It's not like kind of the right style. And then look at this one, friendship. <laughs> I've become a little obsessed with lamps lately and it's been like really hard to find a style that I really like, but something I've considered is finding one that's like a pretty cool style and then upgrading the lampshade. I also saw here that they have some lampshades for sale that are like a mid-century shape and you could totally do some kind of decal on them or paint them somehow um, kind of judge them up so that you get that mid-century look so I'm looking at a couple of these wooden ones because I think this is like not thrilling but if it had the right lampshade it would look very cool in mid-century very like stylish this one down here I like that one is $7.50. All right, we did pretty good. Let me show you what I've got in my cart so far that I'm considering. Look at all of that. And you can see like kind of what the vibe is. So yeah, a lot of good finds, but 
not sure. I feel like I could totally redecorate my whole house like just in one trip in the store if I like really went ham. A lot of cool stuff to see, huh? They do have a little bit of furniture here. We're not spotting anything. So I think we'll move over to the clothing. Hey, I've got to pop in here with a quick editorial note just so that everything makes sense. I did go look at the clothing. I found a number of pieces and the fitting rooms were open. So I did a try on for you guys. And then I've got a clothing haul to share. As I'm editing right now, I realized that it's too much content for one video. So what I want to do is keep this video is going to be focused on the home decor so we can finish that. And that means I've got a bonus video coming out for you very soon. That is going to be this clothing thrift with me and thrift haul. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications so you don't miss that upcoming video. And I've got a little teaser for you because I found something that day that has been on my thrift list for a very long time and it was super exciting. So I'm giving you a little preview of that video and then we'll get right back into the home decor. Okay, hold up. I found something on the way to the register that has been something I've been looking for for a very long time. So excited, so we gotta go try that one now. Yes! So excited, so excited. I wanted to show you from the cart. I got all of this. I got everything for like $43. I'm so excited, I'll show you everything when I get home. Yeah! So yeah, huge fan of that thrift store. I feel like I got really great deals on the home decor. On top of what are already crazy low prices, they have a tag sale that is color coded. And I know that a number of these pieces I got for the 90% off and many of them were already tagged as low as like a dollar or 50 cents. So that means a lot of these pieces were like a dime. So definitely I love that they have a lot of items priced to move. It's a great place to go and stock up on your home decor for sure. So let's do a little haul. I'm gonna show you the individual pieces before we put everything together. I have a couple things to share that were actually from my previous thrift. And not that it matters, but like if you saw it in that video and it's showing up now, like that's why. So the first and maybe the coolest find is this little mini peacock chair and you usually use these as a plant stand. I love to have a lot of plants in my home, hoping to put a little plant on this guy. I got this for $2.99. I frequently see these for resale and these can go for like $25 and up just for one. So a $2.99 item was like a good buy for this and just felt fun to actually like find it myself in the wild, you know? I think what this is is a chips and dip bowl, but it doesn't say like that it's food safe. I thought it would be really cool to plant some little succulents in here. 350 or less for this item. Yay! Love little catch-all trays like this. Keep them around the house, throw things in there, and then maybe like every couple days take it and actually put the items away. So this one was marked at $1.50, so $1.50 or less I got this one. I decided to grab these little wooden candle sconces. Uh, they're not perfectly matching, but I think at a glance it's actually like you would think that they are. They look very mid-century and it'll blend nicely with a lot of things that I have in my home already. These were marked at 50 cents each, so 50 cents or less each. Pretty good. I grabbed a couple of these pottery pieces. This is not something that I have really had around my home in the past, but I was really drawn to this and I thought it's gonna go nicely like with the rest of the style. This one's marked at $3.50 and $1.50, so whatever those were on sale. Along the same lines, I grabbed this uh, plate with a really interesting glaze around the edge. It is marked Made in the USA HP and Co. This one also was marked at $3.50, so whatever I paid minus the discount. I got this jar vase, I guess more like a vase. Um, I really just liked the artwork on it. It says American Bighorn and it has these bighorn sheep on it. It, is, it was marked at $6, so really glad that I ended up getting uh, you know discounts on everything. And yeah, I think I'll use this as a vase. I actually picked some little like I don't, I don't know what these are. Yeah, just to give you an idea, like I thought that kind of looked neat. A handful more things here. As you can see, these are all really small items and then I have one big item to show you. I got this little amber glass bowl. 
This one was marked at $1.50. I got this little brass picture frame, something that I've like always had this style. So when I see one that's in good condition, I will snag it from a thrift store. It's like they're easy to find and like, I don't know. I have seen a couple of things similar to this in thrift stores lately and thought this would be a really cool thing to use to propagate plants. I got all four of these for $3.50. I got this mug from GE in Salem, Virginia. Another cool piece of pottery. This again just fits with that sort of 70s aesthetic that I was feeling. It reminds me of things that were in my grandmother's home too, which I sort of love. It has a cool like bubbly texture on the pottery and a nice glaze. This set is actually really funny because I actually found one of these on my first trip. And then I got lucky because the next time I went back for home decor, I, they actually had put out the matching one. So I was able to pick up the second one in the pair. I'm sorry if you can hear Ruger barking. Sorry about my dog barking if it's bothering you. Is he done? He's so mad. I got this little piece of horse art. I have a few other pieces in my home that are like this style of um, piece of art on a block of wood like this. So it actually kind of goes with some of the other items that I already have. I got this little flock of birds. This is a wall hanging, but this one is like a wood or it's probably like resin that's definitely made to look like it's wood. <laughs> yeah, I think these all kind of go together. I hopefully you can kind of see. When I was in the thrift store, I decided to just like start pulling things that I really loved and like just put it put it in the cart and then I started to see like how there was a theme to these things and then I kind of narrowed it down based on the ones I actually took home and actually like uh, started to pull items that I saw that I thought would go with it and I did end up grabbing one thing and I thought I gotta show you guys this anyway. Okay this guy, <laughs> this is gonna be hard to show you because it is a mirror and I've got lights on right in front of me so I'm trying to like angle it so that it doesn't blind you. So uh, it is a mirrored wall clock done in this like uh, art deco sort of Hollywood Regency style and I'll show you the rest of it. So this one not only came with a clock on it, it also came with a total of three pieces. So there's like three mirrors with this whole set. So I actually got it for $16.17 for all three pieces and the, including the clock. The clock hands need to be tightened but I feel confident that I can enlist my boyfriend to do that because he is fixer of all things. I think it'll be fun to spread these things out throughout my home and create little clusters of them as well and I'm excited to go decorate. So let's see what we can come up with.
along with me for this home decor thrifting experience. It was a lot of fun. I'm really happy with the pieces that I got. I'd love to know if you had some favorite items that I picked up or if you had other thoughts about how I should style them in my home. I'm definitely not the expert when it comes to this kind of thing. I just like what I like and I love to get inspiration from other people who have different thoughts or like really know what they're doing. So definitely leave me comments about the home decor and I will look forward to seeing you guys next week for another video. <laughs> My coat got stuck in the door. Not smooth at all. <laughs> Go on, Rook. Come on. You're staying here. Hey, so we're gonna start in the housewares. I really have been like thinking about my home decor for the coming year. Oh my gosh, the focus is so bad. Everything's still like wrapped in the newspaper. I haven't had a chance to like pull it out. So this is kind of fun. It's like opening presents. It really doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm having just like a, a space out moment. <laughs> Spacing out. It has no tags, so whatever. And this one says USA can make. No, probably Kmark. Kmark. Oh gosh. Since it's, oh my gosh, Ruger. Stop it. What do you call that? Like a, like a photo collage on your wall or like tile, tile photos? Oh my gosh. Uh, can't think of what that's called. Rogar! Oh my gosh. He's walking right outside the door now, so hopefully he doesn't start barking now. I don't know, and I'm not, I don't know much about pottery, so sorry if I just sound like a ding dong or like if I just sound like I'm trying to be an expert because I'm not. <laughs>